sample mounting um, for XPS experiment. So we have uh, this sample box here, uh, a holder box. So all the holder after you supposed to call, go back to this box. So we have 60 millimeter holder. You can see two of them there. We have uh, many two 25 millimeter holder there. Okay, um, and uh, some of them I'm going to wear gloves uh, because all these items we go to vacuum. So make sure you wear gloves. I'm going to show you. All right, uh, so if you look at the uh, holder here, um, we have 25 millimeter. This is a special one. It's for heating and cooling. So you see here, and if you look at the back, it's complicated. If we look at 60 millimeter, the holder, the back is plain, okay? So this one is like this. So this is for heating and cooling, and then the other 25, you see the plan. To see the difference, okay. Uh, for the user, you're supposed to use this plan one. Uh, if your sample happened to be tall, because all these sample with the flat ones, uh, the maximum sample height is eight millimeter. You cannot have a taller sample than that. But if you happen to have a tall sample can fit into this gap, it says hole here, um, then you can use this holder which will compensate some of your sample height. Again, the sample uh, surface to not above uh, 8 millimeter above this uh, the plate or the holder surface. So I'm going to show you uh, uh, oh, this one, sorry. This one, please don't try to use. We have some standard sample here. I'm not going to store in other place. So I just keep it here. We have standard sample. Don't try to remove standard sample because we have two of these in this box for you to use. Okay. And now this one is not very useful uh, either because uh, we have parity cup. That's for me to do the uh, alignment, but it's not very useful for you. And then you have much smaller area to load the sample. So try for normal XPS, use this holder, or this 25 millimeter holder. Okay, now we come back to the holder, the back of the holder. I would like you to take a look, okay? If you pay attention to it, here it has a gap here, okay? And then in the back here, um, it's not very clear. I'm trying to, let me fix the camera first. All right. All right, so for this 25 millimeter or 60 millimeter holder, if you look at the back, okay, they have same design, a little bit gap here, which I call the door, okay. And on the back of the door, like this side, you will see a little bit dimpled region, okay? Um, to going to use the trigger so you can see better. Oh. Okay, here, see, a little bit dimpled region. Okay, this is uh, um, the place when, so uh, some two mark for you, the door and the dimple. So when we mount the holder, there's only one orientation for it to mount which I will remind you again. You need to make sure the door is facing the main chamber and this little dimpled region, we need to make sure it has touching the screw on the, on the uh, stake there. Okay, so now I'm going to show, normally we use 60 millimeter holder for XPS, for normal XPS, um, but 60 millimeter, uh, you can load a lot of sample, but there's no room for you to do tilting. For normal experience, we don't need to do tilting. If you happen to need to do tilting or the UPS, uh, you have to use 25 millimeter holder or use a four angular resolve holder, which is here in the chamber at the moment. Okay, so let's, let me show you how to mount the sample to this big one, which is very common one. 
we have a double-sided tape here. Uh, and only use the tape I provide to you. Don't try to bring your own double-sided tape. This is only accessible tape to this, this room to go to the instrument. Okay, so don't imagine to use a carbon tape or other double-sided tape that will not go to high, will not be able to go to high vacuum, which you require for XPS experiment. So to mount the sample, you can see to um, get a little bit of tape. Just tell, I do not tell very well the first one I'm going to use. Okay, you get a tape. And I put the tape on the surface of this holder and make sure the tape is flat. Very well. Okay. So this is the simplest way to mount the sample. And then now I have different sample here. I'm going to mount. Okay. So Yes, um, the user is uh, this. This is not acceptable for the SPS. Okay, so you just need to put this uh, sample, the side, the place you want to measure facing up. Okay, and uh, just stick the sample to the, this double-sided tape. Make sure all the part is within this tape. Okay. You're going to load another sample. All right, this is, a, I mounted three samples today. You can mount more if you, uh, if you have more sample. I do have used to mount uh, um, the 16 sample to take advantage after working hour, like to, to let it run during the weekend. So, okay, that's it. Make sure the sample is secured, we want to drop. 
This is fun to mount a normal bus sample. When you mount for one loading, uh, please also make sure your sample uh, surface has similar height. Okay, so uh, yeah, the height difference should be within one millimeter because when we do the XPS analysis, the detector is so close to sample surface, it's about one millimeter away. So if your sample has one millimeter high difference, then when we do the analysis, it will crash. Okay. So now the next thing, this is how we mount the sample. I'm going to end here.